Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Rohit and uh, this is the third session of the catalog item real time training. In this training session day 3, you will talk about the catalog IOE policy. So as you know that this is a real time training. So we'll try to cover the catalog uh, UI policy related topic through this real time example. So we'll try to cover all this scenario of the catalog UI policy. Before that, let's see that uh, what is the requirement we have. Uh, so we are building this catalog item from last today so if you have not watched that day one or day two my recommendation will be that go and watch my past video because they are interrelated topic so basically today we'll focus on that catalog by policy so let's see the requirement what it is saying that the action will be mandatory add group will be mandatory if somebody select the add remove group will be mandatory and visible if somebody selected remove as an action so if i go back to the catalog item real time catalog item if you see on the load action is always mandatory either you select any of these options but whenever you select the add group to the uh, user this add group will be visible and mandatory when somebody select removed group uh, name in that case a uh, remove group in that case remove group will be visible and the mandatory so if uh, by default the value will be none so that time that add group name and remove group name will be not visible that is our requirement so we'll try to cover this requirement in a simple format. So what we have to do, remember that to mark always mandatory what we did actually go to these variables called actions and inside the variables we have a checkbox called action mandatory checkbox. So once we mark that checkbox as a mandatory, this field is marked as a always mandatory. It means that without any condition if we want to mark any fields mandatory we just go simply go to this catalog item variables and mark that mandatory but as a conditional best let's see that if the value of the previous value will be something at that time this add group to user at that time this field will be mandatory or somebody select the remote group to user at that time this field will be mandatory or visible we need to be write either client script or ui policy but better uh, if it is simple uh, and uh, very simple we you should go for the UI policy because UI policy does not require any coding. It's just pretty much simple uh, you can configure and it will be start working. So let's see how we can achieve this functionality for that um, UI policy. So basically if you go back to the catalog item, uh, in this catalog item itself you can see that one option is called UI policy. You can create a UI policy. Simply I'll click the new here and it will open a new form where we can write the UI policy. If you see that the catalog item is by default populate the group manage members manager, it means that this UI policy will be applicable for that catalog item and we'll write some short description, meaningful short description so that it can be, uh, you know, um, understand or it can be uh, recognized very quickly from our next step. So what we'll do here, we'll type that, um, let's say, I'll put that uh, action is add. So whenever action will be add, some actions will, will perform. So let's say whenever the action will be add, we'll do that add group name is mandatory and visible, right? Apart from the add, this add group will be non-mandatory and remove the form will be not be visible. How can we do that? So we need to write the short description action is add. And here we need to write the condition. So let's say that action is add. So add action is add groups. At that time, uh, what we'll do? We'll do certain actions. We'll uh, mark uh, some field visible and mandatory. Also, if you see here, uh, you have options for on load and then reverse if false. All load means that whenever the form will be loaded at that time, if you want to run this client or UI policy, you have to be checked that on load and reverse if false means if this condition is not matches, whatever things is happening, it should act as a reverse. It means that uh, if um, if action is add user to groups, uh, add group will be visible and mandatory. If the value is not add group, the field will not be mandatory and not be visible. That is meaning of the reversive false. Means that whatever action you declare, it will be act as a reverse if the condition is not matched. So let's do that. I'll simply save that here. 
so my condition is satisfied and then if you see the bottom we have a uh, uh, catalog ui action in this catalog ui policy action in this action you can add multiple variables and you can define their action or how the, they will behave so we'll select this first field called add um, group name so i'm going here and select that add group name and what actions we are trying to do that we will select that mandatory will be true and visible will be true simply submit that so in this case let's recap that in our catalog ui policy in this catalog ui policy what we are saying that if action is added or action is add at that moment this add group member will be visible and uh, visible and mandatory true if it is condition is not matched it will be reverse false means that it will not be visible and not be mandatory let's see that so i'll refresh quickly this form again if you see here now remove group group name is not visible until unless we select add group so once we select that add group user that time this field is visible and when we select other value this field is not visible and not mandatory so that is the power of uh, you know that reversive false now we are going to create one more very one more ui policy for remove group so let's do that i'll go to the catalog ui policy and then here i'll again type that action is removed action is removed and in this time what we'll see that action is removed it could be combined to the same single one but i just want to show you that some of the demo so i'll select the remove so what we are trying to say that if it is action is removed we are trying to perform certain actions so let's define the actions what action we are trying to perform in this catalog policy ui action we'll select the remove uh, group variables So I'll simply select the remove group name and mandatory will be true and visible true and let's submit that. Now I'll refresh that uh, this uh, form and see how it looks like. At that moment you can see that those add user to the group, remove user to the group is not visible. Action and the reasons are always mandatory without any condition. So they, that at the, that the reason they have marked mandatory from the dictionary level so remember one thing any variable that want to make mandatory read only or any functions from the back end or from the variables that cannot be changed by the script or by the other ui policy so mark those mandatory and read only from the variable level if that will be always mandatory so if i select that now add groups that add group number is visible and if i select remove group the remove group name is visible so it's a pretty much simple if i select none none of this field will be visible once we select the add group that add group will be visible and if i select remove group the remove group will be visible now i want to show one more tweak that let's say i select one groups called here so this group i have selected now i change that add group that field is gone that field is not have some value now if because the field is height it's not visible now if i select the remove group again the value is not getting cleared so previous value is still there so let's say i'll select add group and i'll select one group name here called database and then when i select to the remove group the remove group name is present and again i toggle that the add group name is still present the value is not getting cleared based on my action selection for that what we have to do here if you go back to that uh, catalog ui policy and this ui policy you have added this fields right called uh, action and there we have a call clear variables value it means that if you check that so if the what does it mean by that if the condition is matches the variables value will be mandatory visible and then whatever previous value was there it will be clear so let's try to do that for add also i want to make for both and then i will show you that
So if I go back here and then select, uh, if I just simply open that and then that variable is also marked as a clear value. Similarly, not so basically we uh, I'll select that clear the variables value and save that. So basically by the UI policy, we can mark as a mandatory, we can make any fields visible, we can make any fields uh, read only and we can clear any fields variable. So let's refresh one more time and see that it is working properly or not. So if I refresh right now and then if I select that action equal to add group, add group number is visible and I'll simply select the database and then I'll tweak and then select the remove groups. So the remove group name is visible. So I'll select the remove group equal to ACME support and then I'll go back to the add groups. You can see the previous value was cleared and it is mandatory. And if I tweak and go back to the remove group, the previous value is cleared and it's cemented. So that's the way we can clear the value as well. So remember that if you want to clear some value, you don't need to unnecessarily code that. You can do even through that UI policy. Going back again to the catalog item of uh, the next. So our next requirement is if somebody select the new hat at that moment, uh, this field will not be visible. And if somebody select that other at that time, this field will be visible and mandatory. So we'll do, we'll cover that requirement quickly. So when I'm telling some, those are the options. It is, it might be the very first. Uh, so I don't want to waste everyone time. So I am maybe uh, saying very fast. So if you want to listen again, you can listen again and again. Or if you have any feedback, you can provide that so that I can arrange the sessions uh, on basis of that. So let's go back to that catalog item. So this is the catalog item. And in this catalog item UI policy, you already created two UI policy. The next UI policy, we are saying that this field will be uh, visible and mandatory only if somebody select the other. So we'll simply uh, do that. Here we'll select that um, reasons is other. So this is a complete free text based on your understanding. Uh, you can do uh, you can define here. So I'll select the reasons is other, and here I'll put the condition is reasons is other. And if you see here, uh, you have an option called apply it to the catalog item view, apply it to the catalog task, apply it to the RITM uh, requested item. I'll come a bit later, but just uh, for overview. Apply on the task means that whatever condition is running onto that, uh, this UI policy is running on here. If you submit that or if you order the catalog item, if, if it is generate any task, is that will be behave on there? Is the same behavior will be there on the RITM? That is because if you want to run this UI policy on the RITM or if you want to run this uh, uh, UI policy on the task, you can just check those. So we will see this example in our later on our later exam uh, later um, you know um, sessions. But at that moment, it's just a description. So we created call actions is removed. We need to be uh, the UI policy is created. We need to define the actions. Let's define these actions here. I'll simply click new, and here we'll define that uh, brief description will be mandatory and visible true and clear the value if somebody select the other let's do that and refresh that so now if i refresh that pretty much all these forms are little bit sticky right now now if i select that action equal to add a uh, group to the user it is visible and then reasons if i select new hair Nothing is happening if somebody select the other and at that moment, the field should be visible and mandatory. Let's see why it is not. Because we added in a wrong place, we just have to remove this uh, brief description from action name is removed and we have to update in a different UI policy. So we'll go back to that our UI policy proper UI policy. So our UI policy is the reasons is other. Here I have to add that. So I'll simply add that. 
inside here a uh, brief descriptions mandatory true visible true and clear the variables and let's refresh final thing so if we select new hire it is not visible if you select other the field is visible and it is mandatory so that way you can tweak that so now next thing what i will do that i'll simply create one field here uh, as a let's say region we'll discuss this topic later but i want to just in this class i just want to add one variables inside the requested for variable set call region to uh, show you more details okay so i'll simply go back to the catalog item called group membership so if i open the variable set inside the variable set one more thing i want to show you that if you see i'll put that requested for information so here i'll put some description so this is the request for information and i'll before i change that if you see here there is nothing in the top if i uh, go back to the variable set and if we select the display title and save that there will be little change uh, you will observe bef before that the title will be visible so let's refresh that so you can see uh, it is showing as a section and top it is saying the requester information so whatever variable title will be there variable set title will be there if you want to show as a uh, as a title you can show that okay now uh, what i'll do that uh, i'll create one variables uh, in in this bottom called as a 300 and that will be string and read only as a region why i'll tell you guys later but for the time being i'll create a variable set as a 300 and question will be region and the value will be read only and simply i'll submit that nothing else i'm doing at that moment let's refresh that form and see a little bit different we'll add this field here at the uh, at the bottom called region uh what is used for or how we are going to do that we'll do that but we can mark any fields uh read only at the variables level that you already seen here and i have done there so this requested manager will be also read only because the ones based on the requested for information requester manager regions everything will be pre populated we'll do that steps in next sessions so till the now thank you very much have a great day